Yo, Girthy Gang, what the frick is up? I'm Sandit, we react to stuff, and hopefully I worked a little bit on the lighting and the exposure and the gain and all that. Hopefully it looks better. Hopefully it looks more clean. But right now we're about to get into an Andrew Scholes reaction. This is Jeffrey Epstein jokes makes a couple walk out. So this might get a little edgy. I don't know. I haven't seen it. So let's check it out and see if he actually makes them walk out because this would be wild. I I have been to a couple stand-ups where people just boo and all that, but I've never seen anybody walk out. So that would be wild. Thank you. Wow. Wow. All right. I'm gonna need everybody here to what lower is, their expectations. What is he from? Is he from? He's not from SNL, right? What? What is? I can't remember what. God, what show is that? It's on MTV, right? I can't remember which show it is. Patience. But I, I swear uh, to God, I've seen it before. It's a Tuesday. We're gonna roll in today. How old are you guys? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How is Jeffrey Epstein's island? Jesus. How old are you? 18, you're aged out. Yeah. <laughs> they look at you on that island like, what this old bitch doing over here? Get her ass oh out of here. God. You got your period? Fuck out of here. Right? Oh my God. Can I tell you guys? The way he looked at the crowd after he says that. Okay, if, uh, if, we're, if we, the Girthy Gang and I, are going to become closer, you guys are going to have to realize I have a dark sense of humor. Yes, this stuff is messed up. Don't get me wrong, but I also, I enjoy stand-up comedy, so I'm always going to laugh at some pretty messed up jokes. Uh, this is going to, you guys will see through this, I guess. Okay, last night, <laughs> I'm doing a show here, okay? And I was talking about the Epstein thing. And two people, a couple, just get up and they fucking leave. Just oh, fuck. it's not the, oh, we don't actually get to see the, ah, that kind of sucks, but it is I what it is. Come up with sure, it's a good story. An Epstein joke, right? Because how do you justify what Why is this doing? so quiet? It's fucking horrible. I'm just gonna interrupt this video for a few seconds. I do not know what went on with the audio in this video. I apologize. For some reason, the video's audio like bounced back and forth. I don't know if it was like the sound from different cameras and whatnot, but I did want to take this opportunity to drop in and let you guys know I do make my own content outside of reactions. It is Send It Gaming. It's all over the YouTube channel. It'll be linked down in the description down below. I'd love to see you guys over there. I live stream on Twitch. I'm now getting back into it because I'm feeling a little bit better with my nose and stuff. But I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support and love you guys show the channel. It means a lot. We're about to hit 40,000 on this channel and I can't wait to keep pushing and hit that 100,000 one day. I love you guys. Let's get back to the reaction. Right? I feel like it just got so much quieter. So I'm just talking about it last night on stage. I'm just bringing it up. I know it's bad, okay? But I'm just throwing Sorry ideas out there. Bring it up a little bit. Just throwing them out. Just jokes. You know, I'm like, that's the, worst, the reason why he had the young girls. The worst part about, like, doing anything as far as, like, recording YouTube reactions, it's like, every YouTube video, the audio is so much different. And it's just, like, trying to find, like, the perfect balance. On the island is because in case they try to swim away, he would just play... Baby shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Daddy. Just kidding. They don't have dads. Look, that, that's why they were on the island. You can see, you can see this girl in the front row. Daddy. Just kidding. They don't have dads. This is great. It's great. Is not having Look, it. That, oh my god. That's oh why god. they were on the island, guys. <laughs> oh Jesus. I just don't know how you can go to a stand up and maybe she likes it. I don't know. I, I know that people interpret 
you know, how they think things are funny in different ways. But I am surprised that a lot of people would go do a stand-up show and not expect there to be some edgy jokes, some jokes that maybe make you feel a little uncomfortable, but like it's, it's stand-up. I feel like we've lost the art of like stand-up and just comedy. Like it's meant to push the limits. I feel like, and that's just me. That's my opinion. But I just like, I feel like it, it's got to be hard as shit right now to be a stand up comedian. And it seems like it gets worse. I'm just searching for jokes here. I know it's fucked up, sir. Okay? You look like you've been. <laughs> you look like the contractor that built that island. <laughs> Listen, if you want a good dungeon, what you gotta do, listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, you want a dungeon? I'll teach you how to make a dungeon. Listen, oh, you got a good oak. So you see like the audio, just the audio in the video changes. It's so weird. You go 20 feet under the ground, plaster it all up, okay? The girl screams can't get through the plaster. I'm just throwing the idea, it doesn't matter. The couple gets up and they fucking run out. No, it's they back to run the fuck out. And I stop, and instead of making fun of them or anything, I was like, listen, they did the exact right thing. They did the exact right thing. They felt uncomfortable. They felt, you know, wildly miserable. And they were in an awful situation. And then they just got up and left, right? Now, the tricky thing about being on an island. <laughs> the way his interactions with his facial expressions of the crowd makes it so much funnier, I feel like. Oh my God. You won't be here for a while. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen any of his stand up stuff. If you guys have like any other recommendations of his stuff, I would, I, I love like edgy comedy and all that. So I am all for it. You guys let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys have a great day. We're getting back into the groove of things. So I'm starting to feel a lot better. So I'll see you guys on the next one.